tell me, Hope, what made you join the Academy? A sense of duty. Vanille, Fang, Lightning. They turned to crystal so that we might live. It was an enormous sacrifice. My sister and the others. I think they wanted to preserve life. They gave us a chance to live again. Guests of yours, Director? Thank you. Isn't the Academy a research institute? Why do you need so many soldiers? Without the foul sea around, we have to be able to protect ourselves. Gideon. And that means guns. The time distortions spawn hostile features. Until we can resolve the paradox, we need military force to repel threats. These armed patrols are essential for our safety. Great many things have happened. Hope, oh, do you still think my sister is trapped inside that crystal pillar? I always had doubts, and it wasn't just me. Saz had them as well. Really? Saz too? Yes. He couldn't believe that lightning would just up and leave Sarah like that. After all, she was the one who said we shouldn't face things alone, that we should stick together. A great many things have happened. This is some kind of ancient city, hmm. right? The city of Padra, or so we believe. It was the center of a great kingdom built by a nation known as the Farseers. The Farseers? Mm. You're telling me there used to be enough of them to build this entire town? Hmm. According to our research, we believe they constituted an entire nation. Huh. A polity that was ruled by a Cirrus. <sighs> Can you see me now? Standing here in this place? So this nation, Padra, their leader was a Cirrus, right? Yes. The Cirrus would read the fates, see the future, and guide her country. You. What did the inhabitants do for them? Here. <laughs> Thanks. You've traveled through time. I suppose it's not surprising you know about these things. The power to rule was passed down from one Cirrus to the next. She was always called Yule. If they could read time, why did they die out? Surely they could see the danger coming and do something to avoid it. No, they were destroyed because they could see the future. Why? People? The Cirrus Yule foresaw the future destruction of this city. Some citizens wanted to try to avert the disaster. Others felt that they should simply abandon their homes and run. A few fell into despair and took their own lives. The divided populace clashed. The nation was torn apart by civil war. Being able to see the future is awfully dangerous. It can mess with people's heads. Tell me about it. The nation fell apart, and the survivors fled into the wildlands, avoiding contact with others. Huh. So you know the story. Oh! Come on, Director Hope! I want to show them! It's okay to show them, isn't it? This way. Here. 
This is what lies at the heart of our mm. paradox. The Oracle Drive. We've been giving it careful study. But how did you... Wait. You know of these devices? Oh, uh, well, yeah. I've, uh, I've heard of them. In books and stuff. The Oracle Drive appears to be some kind of recording apparatus from ancient times. We've excavated a number of the devices. However, the recordings depict things that cannot be possible. Perhaps you should see for yourselves. This is how it works. <laughs> dating methods to determine age. The device and the recording stored within are several centuries old. But it shows lightning. Someone in the past recorded this vision of the future. Perhaps it was the Cirrus Yule herself. What we're concerned about, however, is this. You'll have to excuse the image quality. I think so. We need to conduct further analysis to be certain. <sighs> is it broken? No. We've tested both device and data, and everything is nominal. Yet, when we try to view the recording, we get this. Perhaps it's not the recording that's broken. It's the immediate space-time in which we are located. Mm -hmm. You mean it could be the paradox? Because the surrounding space-time is twisted, that might be directly affecting the device. So, if the paradox is eliminated, space-time will return to normal. Then we could see the prophecy and find out where my sister uh -huh. is. Yes, I believe so. Right. Here. An artifact! <laughs> this object serves as a key, is that right? We try to make it work ourselves, but with no success. Yeah, we can use that to travel across time. Then you may have it. I think it'll be far more useful to you than us. Here. During the years that passed as we traveled outside time and space, Hope had devoted himself to his research, trying to unlock the mystery of the paradox. If the gates are the cause of the puzzle, they might also be the key to unlocking it. But I wonder, am I getting closer? Will I find lightning in the end? Time to find that gate. It was in the ruins. If I could go back in time, I'd go back ten years ago and try- Although, I guess that would mean we would- Everyone seems so restless.
I work better at night, so I'm... If there's a paradox, I can actually see. This must be the gate Hope was talking about. Maybe. Uh. Yeah? What? There's something on your mind. 
Yeah, well, um... Sure, but it's just personal stuff. Is it about the Cirrus? Ah, that's right. Nice guess. It must be so strange to be able to see beyond your own present. That reminds me of something Lightning told me. She said that from Valhalla, you can see all of history. If that's true, then the Padre Cirrus and Lightning have seen the same things. Which means Lightning already knows what's going to happen to us. bothering Noel, and it had been ever since we heard the story about the Padre Cirrus Yule. But, of course, he wasn't the only one who was troubled. Was it really lightning I saw in the flickering images of the prophecy? The only way to find out is to go through this portal and solve the paradox. <laughs> <laughs> 